Hey, it's Sam from Dan Talk, Real Talk, so let's talk. So I was going to do appetizer today, and I will do them, guys. I just had a very um, interesting day. I had to work at the shelter more because some people didn't show up, so I apologize. But what I am going to say is an appetizer is a prelude, something that you have before you have the main course. So no matter how you look at it, whether it's dinner, whether it's sex, whether it's life, when you have an appetizer, you're getting ready for something else unless you just eat appetizers. You're preparing for the next stage. So I think that's very powerful, very impactful, and very real. All of us in life have appetizers. Um, I love coming home from work, taking a shower, changing, having some veggies and dip, a glass of wine, chilling out, relaxing, and then thinking about what I'm gonna make for dinner. Imagine going to a really nice restaurant you order the appetizer. Say you order a French onion soup or a Caesar salad, and then you order a steak or a whatever, a pasta. So as you're eating your appetizer and you're chit-chatting, you're anticipating what's coming next. This is all that you need to do. This is what you need to do in life. As you order and understand the kiss, so let's all start with the kiss. The kiss is where it all starts. To me, the kiss, the cuddle, the hug, it's the appetizer, the sex sex that says, I can't wait to get you naked. The understanding that tonight is going to be all about us. Understand, that's the appetizer. Sucking someone's cock can be an appetizer for fantastic sex. Having someone go down on your pussy yeah, that can be a great appetizer, but more than that, more than that, the prelude, the setup, everything that you do before you get to the uh, physical interaction, that's the appetizer. When you make the most of it and then you get to the missionary or the doggy or the 69 or the up against the wall or the whatever, then you will understand and know that the true appetizer is whatever you choose it's up to you what appetizer you desire it's up to you what appetizer you eat and it's up to you how you do it i hope that all of us have learned things in life that take us to the oh i need it now stage and if we haven't we should have diane from diane talk real talk we'll talk this is just the beginning. This is just the appetizer of our next adventure. Tomorrow night, I'm going to talk about Hank from Alliston, and we'll see how it goes from there. I'll see you in the morning. Have a wonderful night.